Hello and welcome back. From the release of the game up until this moment, I have around 1000 kills. I honestly need to count them all one day. On this ship I have 88 kills at the moment, that's a very nice number, I am on the road to hit 100 very soon. Now let me show you the fit that I have on the ship. I did change some modules because I need more defenses from frigates and interceptors. In the primary, in the high slots, I have my trusty beam lasers. Those weapons did prove themselves to be very good. I have very good skills for the lasers and well, so far they have been doing a nice job for this ship. In the low slots, I have a Predator Stadis Swabifer, mostly as defense, also a Warp Scrambler, also mostly for defense and of course the primary Warp Disruptor will be my Predator Warp Disruptor. Now I did take Hammerheads, Mark 7 Hammerheads, these drones used to be very expensive. They do thermal damage, they are very nice and well it will be interesting to see how they will perform in PvP. In the low slots I do have the classic C-type MVD, dual drone damage amplifiers and a cover tops cloaking device. Well, let me quickly demonstrate the ship in a simulated environment. Now, I did increase my skills for the lasers and of course that did improve the, the DPS on the ship a little bit. At the moment I do have 529 DPS, which is nice, of course, once I max out my drone skills the DPS should be around 600 to 700 and the ship's velocity is 2040 meters per second which is excellent and that will be also increased once I max out the MVD skills. Alright well it is time to cloak and with that being said let the hunt begin. Okay I am warping in the well in this first anomaly let's see what's Warp hiding right over now. there. I can't wait to hit tier 9 to buy the cover tops too, that ship sounds very interesting. And it does have a couple... Oh, what is this? A omen. Alright, well, time to engage. I haven't caught a omen in a while, so this will be a nice kill. Okay, let's engage. Got the disruptor on him. The tracking disruptor is also engaged. And now, well, I will be orbiting at 14 kilometers. That is my range of choice. Okay, well, the hammerheads are doing a good job to dismantle that armor. And time to dismantle the hull as well. Okay, that's the first kill. Let's quickly get the pod and let's quickly loot the wreck. Okay, so far so good, local is nice. Oh, C-type modules, well, thank you. That's exactly what I need, time to, time to warp out, but oh, I forgot to, I forgot to kill the pod. All right, well, my bad. I got excited for, for that C-type module too much, I guess. Okay, and one more hit should do the job on that pod. There we go. Nice. Okay. Time to time to warp out before any reinforcements arrive. Now, I did have some very very interesting moments where the target did call in help and well, of course, I had to disengage. That's why I I'm always this cautious when I'm hunting. Alright, well, let's go to the next anomaly. And what is this? One Caracal? Oh, okay, well, let's let's quickly engage the target. Now, that Caracal, I think, has a disruptor on him from the, from the NPCs, so I do have luck. Now, it has two disruptors on its ship. Time to orbit and time to engage the... Guidance Disruptor, alright, the Caracal is defending itself, good, good, very nice. I do love, I absolutely love the tracking disrupt, the Guidance Disruptors, they cripple the missile performance on your target ship. Instead of taking 1000 damage, I take 100 damage, 
because of that guidance disruptor and of course this ship does have a bonus on the disruption modules so far that's been saving me for that's been saving me from taking a lot of damage for some time now all right this character has been destroyed let's loot the wreck and well caldery navy okay well so far the loot has been very nice i can't complain about the loot i absolutely can't complain about the loot and let's quickly take down the pod and okay pod is down time to warp to time to warp out before any reinforcements arrive you never know usually they do call for help so speed is very important here the faster you can kill your enemy the faster you can warp out to safety and my internet was terrible at this moment as you can see <laughs> my internet is always terrible okay next target oh a battle cruiser what is this i pro okay well these things are one of my favorite targets the prototypes are one of my personal favorites because those ships are unpredictable you never know how much damage you're going to take from these prototypes sometimes they will not be able to hit you but sometimes they will hit you for 5000 damage so you have to be very careful around those ships right launched my drones this time i do use i use my other fit and i am targeted by that prototype its shield has been destroyed working my way through the armor of that ship and now the ship is on its hull they have very good holes by the way and you have to be careful even when you hit their hull they still can take a lot of damage well i did take a big hit there the decomposers are doing a good job on my ship but but i did have the i did open fire first and well that prototype started defending itself a little bit too late but still good job at destroying almost half of my shield in one shot that's why i absolutely love to fight these ships you never know how much damage you're going to take from them okay let's get that wreck let's get that pod if possible and okay well the pod warped out it's okay let's see what's inside of that wreck I hope for something nice, but let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, that was nice. Time to warp out and time to hide for a moment before any reinforcements arrive. Now, like I said, these prototypes are interesting targets and you never know what can happen once you start shooting them. They might force you to warp out, but at the same time, they might do zero damage to your ship. Okay, let's align to that anomaly, let's uncloak, let's wait for the timer to go down. This is why I use the cloaking device, it allows me to scout the target and then it allows me to find the perfect warp in to the target ship. That way I do have the element of surprise and I do have the, well, I do have the range that I need. Right, warping in, let's see what will, ha let's see what will happen. Very curious to... I actually forgot who was the target in that anomaly, but I guess I'm about to find out. Okay, a Vexor. Now, in this system, I was chasing a Assault Frigate, but that Assault Frigate didn't want to play, and, well, it didn't want to get shot by this cruiser. So, I did decide to look for it, and, well, speaking of the devil, there is that Assault Frigate. Let's see if that Assault Frigate will play now. Well, I am outnumbered. And... Well, seems like that Assault Frigate was scared. <laughs> Alright, well, um, that Vexor has been destroyed. And now let me try to get the pod. Okay, it worked out. Let me get the rack. Now that Assault Frigate is a ship that I was chasing for maybe, let's say... I did chase that thing in like three systems so far I wasn't able to catch it because that frigate just did not want to fight and well in this case it also didn't want to fight but 
it did shoot down miners, so I'll definitely try to catch that assault frigate very soon. It would be a nice kill. Okay, let's go to the next anomaly. Let's see what I'll find over there. Oh, it is a destroyer. Okay, well, let's engage it. A catalyst. Well, that should be a quick kill. Speaking of destroyers, I did catch a couple of the... I think it was a catalyst navy. But that catalyst navy did call in for help, so it, I didn't... Well, I had to warp out. I didn't catch... I didn't kill it. Interestingly enough, I did have a couple faction cruisers warp on me in that case. They were ready for me. Mostly because I, I have a bounty uh, on this ship. I think it's 500 million, I'm not quite sure. 500 million on this ship and 2 billion on my phantasm. Now, I don't know if that, if that is like a legit bounty that I have on the ships, but uh, someone in the comments a couple videos ago did tell me that I do have a bounty, so yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, let's warp to safety there. Let's see, where will I warp in next? I'll warp in on this base. I think there is someone over there. I'm not quite sure. Well, I'm about to find out anyway. Okay, let's uncloak. Uncloaked, alright. Uh, let's 8 kilometers should be nice. Okay, warping in. Now, recently, our corporation and our alliance did have a problem in our home systems from certain alliances and of course from certain corps. So I did, I do what any corp member will do and I'll defend my own territory. Time to engage this Algos because, well, it is red, that means enemy. Okay, and of course the enemies are set by the by the corp and by the alliance leaders, so I am just following orders that that Algos was destroyed, okay? Let's get the pod and let's quickly get the wreck. Okay, there is 34 people in the local, that's not good, <laughs> I better be quick, who knows, maybe there's reinforcements coming. You never know, I'm about to have... 10 faction cruisers swapping on me, that would be, that would be terrible, but at the same time exciting I guess because I would have to outrun them, which I can, I'm quite fast. Alright, well, warping out and cloaking, good, well that was smooth, that was very smooth and that was very, very smooth. Okay, let's align to that anomaly and let's prepare to warp. Okay, couple, couple more seconds. Okay, let's warp in. Warp drive active. Let's see who's hiding in that anomaly. Okay, warping in. Another red algus. Okay, well, these. Well, actually, is this this? Okay, it is the same. It is the same pilot as before. Well. Unfortunately, I have to do my duty. Okay, well, let's... Let's quickly shoot this destroyer down. And they also did reset our base a lot of times, so I am on high alert. Okay, that ship has been destroyed, and let's destroy that pod. It is very interesting how once you shoot down your opponent's base, pirate base, you can reduce their income and you can reduce the spawnings of the Inquisitor and Scout sites by a lot. And of course that's one way to prevent them from making any money. Okay, let's warp out to safety. And let's cloak, just to be safe. Okay, that was nice. That was very nice. Alright, well, aligning to the next anomaly. There's 19 players in this system at the moment. 
and let's see 10 more seconds on the clocking device or should I say on the cover tops clocking device time to warp in and well time to engage the next target so far I didn't have to use my scrambler I didn't have to use the web well actually I did use the web but I didn't have to use it because most ships were slow now this is a cormorant they can be tanky well a little bit tanky and there is 22 people in the local so I have to be very careful while doing this okay I do have all modules on this ship and a couple more seconds more the ship is destroyed okay let's quickly get that let's quickly get that wreck and let's quickly get that pod I almost forgot about the pod 21 people in the local okay I have to be careful and I am okay too far away from the cargo really okay let's launch drones open fire on the pod okay it's looted Oh my god, I'm okay, well, uh, thankfully it's not a scrambler, or else my MVD would be off. It is a disruptor, so I have to have to take range from that interceptor, or not interceptor, I have to take range from that destroyer. And, well, um, let's go to that asteroid field, or asteroid belt. Now... The only mining ships that are kind of not defenseless are the retrievers and of course the other the other ships in that lineup. And here I'll be fighting I think one of these. So let's see. Again, the next target is red and that means a enemy. Well then let's engage this retriever. I do have all modules on on this ship and keep an eye on the local as soon as I engaged a lot of people started jumping in 17 at the moment but more will arrive and well this retriever sounds to be looks to be tanky 19 people in local 4 jumped since I started to shoot this retriever might be a bait I don't know I guess I'll find out. I'll find out in. I'll find out in a couple seconds. Okay, ship's armor is gone, and now fighting on the hull. It's shooting my drones, but it's too late for that. <laughs> they are not defenseless. They are tanky, as we can see, and these ships do carry drones, and they can do damage. All right, the ship has been destroyed. Time to warp out before reinforcements arrive because these ships are never defenseless. Usually when there is a retriever there is a small fleet around in 99.9% .9 of cases. Well that was a fun that was a fun ride. <laughs> I have to say I did enjoy this combat a lot. And well with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.